Hello and uh, welcome to Gardening with Raggy. So I am a lifelong gardener, um, award winning, won Britain in Bloom, East Midlands in Bloom, Entente Floral, RHS Excellence in Horticulture. And uh, today we're going to talk about lawns. So when I first came to, this is my Callum workplace, Callum Country Manor Hotel in Newark, and Woodpecker. Um, so when I first came here, the grass was mowed by a big industrial uh, tractor with a, you know, a mower on the back. And the grass was as mossy and it was long. And because it wasn't picked up either, it was in a terrible state. As you can see behind me, it's looking pretty decent. Stripy lawns. It's not perfect. Lawns don't have to be perfect. Now, for me... Uh, my best way of telling you with lawns is mow regular. Uh, pick your mowings up, and if you don't pick your mowings up, if you if you're mowing it regular and it's short enough, say you've got a fly mow, you can let the mowings drop, and then just use a brush, and you know on on a hot day they'll go. If you've got the ability to water your lawn afterwards, brilliant. Obviously in the summer months, leave it longer in between watering. But you know. Mowing regular is absolutely critical. Um, once a week, once a fortnight, certainly not every few months, because what happens, the weeds take over and they win. Mow regular, fine grasses, that's what you'll get. And eventually, you'll get a lawn to be proud of. And to be honest, mowing your lawn, a bit of exercise. And, uh, you know, uh, <coughs> I drink beers and do beer reviews, so I, I need the exercise just as much as anybody else. And, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's all about, you know, doing whatever you can to make your lawn look good. Edging off the lawn, nice straight lines or swirly lines, it doesn't really matter. But mowing it regular is key. You don't have to use lots of weed killers. If you've got a lawn um, with weeds in and you're okay with using, We'll go so weed and feed. You sprinkle it on liberally. Um, to, to, it'll kill the moss in a day. But, and you water it in, or you do it on a day when it's raining. Best way. You sprinkle it on, let the rain go in. If you're on a water meter, yes, it's a bit hard. So I do understand that, because it's, it's not easy if you're on a water meter. Um, you know. But uh, as you can see, this lawn, it was, in, it was in a shocking state when I took over. It's just that, just that caring, mowing very regular. Um, plus, the more you mow, you know. And even at home, I, a lot of the time, I'll just use a fly mower at home. And uh, the grass is that small, the, it, it goes back in, it actually feeds the grass. When it's long and clumpy, that's when it causes more problems for the grass. As you see on, on council estates, when they leave it and they mow it, and it looks, it looks an eyesore because it's massively clumpy, it's wet, and it just looks awful. And obviously, this is, this is what you want. So that's the first of the videos I'm doing. Just to, just to give you a few tips, um, there'll be lots of videos for the channel. Um, it's a bit more awkward when you've got low subscribers because I need to bump the subscribers up to a certain amount and then I can go live. All weird, isn't it? But yeah, um, if you like these videos, please follow me. If you've seen my beer reviews, it's going to be the same as beer reviews. A uh, bit of wit, a bit of humour. Nice person. Somebody who doesn't know a bit about gardening. Well, I hope so, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, that's today's um, lawns. Cheers, all.